everybody how are you all doing today welcome back to mama's kitchen today i'm gonna be sharing my recipe for asun asun is grilled goat meat and it's really really delicious um back home they grill it over open fire with some special equipment but i don't have that here so i'm just gonna grill it in my oven and you show you how it's done asun is very delicious it's very popular among the yorubas and it's sold here in the african store you always find them in a uh, the freezer compartment in a very small plastic bowl and they sell for a lot of money so if you learn today then maybe you won't be able to you won't be going there to buy anymore you'll just be making it whenever you feel like making it right inside your kitchen so if you're ready to learn how to do this today let's get into the kitchen and make it happen come on guys let's go okay ladies and gentlemen the first thing i do is cut my meat into biteable sizes and i add my onions Please, if you do not like onions, don't cuss me out. I love a lot of onions with my asu. And I've added my uh, chopped habanero pepper and now adding my no cube. I don't know why I don't have the video of the habanero pepper, but I have it in there. And then I'm adding my salt. And here is the, this is the time you really have to mix it. If possible, you can put on your gloves and use your hand to really, really, you know, mix the ingredients into the meat. Pardon me here. I'm the one videoing, I mean, recording this video, so I'm just doing it with one hand. And right after that, you cover your pot and put it away for up to three to four hours. Sometimes I leave it overnight, but in this video, I only put it away for three hours. And this is just for the meat to get marinated. After three hours, when I brought it out, that's when I am putting my grand crayfish. I don't like to put it before put, taking it out of the fridge because I don't want a lot of that, you know, crayfish taste. I just want a little bit of it. So that's why I do it after. And I mix it thoroughly, you know, mix it very well. And then you cover the pot and cook it with no water. You don't want any water in it. You want the meat to really cook itself in inside its own water and the water dry right into the meat. You don't want to add any extra water. So just cover it like this and let it cook for just 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, this has been boiling for about 10 minutes and I'm going to just turn it now. You know, because goat meat is very tough to cook, that's why I just prefer to steam it up a little bit so that when it's in the oven, it will get um, cooked easily. So that's why I'm cooking it a little bit. I'm going to let this water dry up. The meat is not cooked. I always like it to be fully cooked before I put it in the oven. So I'm going to let the water dry up. And after 10 minutes, you see what I was talking about. The meat is really dried. The water has been cooked into the meat and you don't need any more water. And right after that, you put it in a clean uh, baking tray. Or you can cover your baking tray like this if you don't want a lot of mess. That's, why, that's what I'm trying to avoid here. So I'm putting, I put my foil paper on it and I'm sp spreading out the meat. Make sure you spread it out. Don't let it be stacked on top of each other. And right after that, you put it in your oven. And please make sure you set your oven to grill and grill it for uh, up to 30 minutes or more. It depends on the, um, the strength of your grill. And when you're done with it, bring it out and check. Make sure it is really grilled. At this point, it will look like fried meat, but it's not really, I mean, it's grilled, but it will look like fried meat. So when you have that texture of fried meat, then you know it's ready. You turn off your oven and just let it sit in there for a few minutes while you take care of your vegetables. Guys, you need to come into my kitchen and just perceive this aroma. This is really, really coming up nice. Asu is always a, a delicacy I love to make. I like asu. I, I used to buy it a lot when I didn't know how to do it, but I love it now. So um, what you do next is you put some oil, just a little bit of oil. You may even decide not to fry with oil, but because I want to saute it, that's why I'm adding this just tiny bit of oil. This is not even up to half a spoon of oil. 
and then I'm going to start putting my vegetables. The first thing is my ringed onions. I love to ring my onions when it comes to a soup. You know, when I'm boiling the meat, I chop the onions, but I make, when I'm making the, um, the, the, when I'm sauteing the, the, the vegetables, I ring up the onions. And then you just toss it around in the pot. Guys, it's really important that you use a non-stick pot because that way your vegetables cannot get burnt and it will come out and taste right so always make sure you use a non-stick pan and if you don't have a non-stick pan make sure you don't allow the the vegetables to burn so turn your stove very low to avoid any type of burning right after that i'm adding my green pepper and i like to uh, you know slice up my green pepper this way I just like it like this I don't like to chop it or you know um, cube it or do any style this is just how I want it for us to then you mix it up you know you really have to turn it here and keep your heat uh, on low don't make it too high especially if you're not using a non-stick pot This takes some time guys guys you really have to make it look nice you have to be patient for it to you know um, be able to saute the way you want it and right after that I'm adding my sliced onion uh, sliced fresh tomatoes and I'm adding some more habanero pepper with my tomatoes I take out all the inside you know the seeds and everything inside that way it's not it doesn't have anything inside and then you slice it up this way you can chop it up if you want to but this is just my style I just love it you know stringed up like this and then I mix everything up and then it's gonna be time for you to season um, remember you have salt and no cube in your meat so please do not over season your um, uh, your, 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 your your vegetables I'm sorry don't over season your vegetables sometimes just you can just leave them leave it without being seasoned if you realize that your meat is over seasoned but if you know that it doesn't have much seasoning then you can add one more no cube or half it depends on the size of the vegetables you're using and then you add salt if you feel like you need it you need to add more salt but please always be cautious of be cautious of um the, the way you season it because if you mess up the 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 stir fry then you're gonna mess up the whole meat so please don't add too much uh, seasoning if you don't need to. Here I'm adding more salt because I didn't I didn't really taste the salt in the in the meat, so I feel like I have to substitute by adding more salt to the vegetable. That way it will be balanced up when I mix it up with the meat. So you keep tossing it around like that until you get your desired texture and until you feel like your vegetable is cooked. Uh, some people don't like it cooked at all. Some just like it raw. Here I'm doing half and half. It's not cooked and it's not raw. And then I am adding my grilled meat. You guys can see how dry that meat looks. Looks really, really fried. But it's not fried. It's just grilled. And then I add it in and I mix it up. Mix it very well. Make sure the meat and the vegetable is mixed together. And that's how you make your asu, guys. Asu is very, very easy to make. Just bring out some time. You know, buy some meat, marinate it, and then put it in the fridge. If you don't have the time to do it the same day, leave it in the fridge overnight. The next day, you can just do it in the evening or whenever you can. And you have your asu, and you can keep it in the fridge for as long as you want. And bring out, just, you know, serve yourself a little bit. I mean, uh, <laughs> serve yourself whichever way you want to serve yourself until it's done. But you can surely stay in the fridge for a long time. It can. So I'm trying to make sure everything is mixed up. Everything should be mixed up, guys. Guys, I can't just, you, you can't imagine the aroma right here. This is really, really delicious. Really delicious, guys. I kid you not. So please, I want you to try this very soon. Just try it and let me know how it came out for you. I'm sure you're going to get it right. I am very sure of that. If you follow my, my um, if you follow the recipe and follow everything I did here, you are going to get it right and that's asu for you that's how you make your asu 
you cover your pot turn off the stove and just let it you know simmer for a few minutes under no heat at all and that's your soup thank you so much for watching me today guys i truly appreciate you and i want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers and please the old ones i just wish that you can continue i mean supporting me i truly truly appreciate your your um your comments and everything that you do thank you so much bon appetit see you in my next video ciao ciao and thank you